Thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph in Christ Jesus. I am F. D. Yale, Senior Pastor, Bridge Ministries International. Are you down? Are you troubled? Are you worried? What is troubling you? This message that you are about to listen is just tailored for you. Hear me. At the service, your life is going to be switched on. You are going to be repaired. You are going to be built up. And you are going to be restored. The building of your life can only be made by the word of God. Stay tuned in. I will be right back to pray with you. Coming up. If you want to know the will of God, the thing or what you need to do is to deal with the Holy Spirit. But he is the person that knows the mind of God. He knows what God is thinking about you. He knows what God is planning about you. No man knows. And if a man is going to know, it has to be revealed to him or her by the Spirit. So, there are things also from the Father that are free. They are free. Now, verse 12 of the same scripture will tell you that, that there are things that are freely given, and it is only the Spirit of God that can show you the things that are freely given. To the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 13, verse number 14. Let's read together, go. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Can we please take our seats? Amen. For some time now, I've been talking to you about the personality of the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is to us, what it came to this earth to do. Of course, if I want to talk about the Holy Spirit, I would have to maybe talk for a year or two or three because there's so much to talk about him each and every day that I wonder if I would ever end. But I want us to go into another perspective of what I call the Holy Spirit and the Father. The Holy Spirit and the Father. Now, what does the Holy Spirit and the Father do? What, what is the collaboration? It's like having a Messi and a Suarez and a Neymar in a football match. There's some coordination where one gets a penalty and we decide to pass. There is a coordination. There is some flow. So I want us to look at one specific area which I believe is going to be a blessing to everybody. Can I hear an amen? amen? Say the Holy Spirit and the Father. Now, the first thing you should understand is that First Corinthians chapter 2, verse number 10, makes us aware that the Holy Spirit reveals the deep things of the Father or God to us, the deep things of the Father. Everybody has deep things about them. Everybody. And the deep things about you, it is only those who are close that knows. So now I hear people say that, oh, I know Pastor Yali, and I laugh. They don't. You've seen me, we've talked. I'm um, even your pastor, but you don't know the person. But the Holy Spirit is the one who knows the Father. And the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 10, let's read it together. But God has revealed them to us by what? By what? His Spirit. For the Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep what things of God. So what the, the deep things of God are so unique that even Jesus said that who is the Son said that there are things about the second coming he doesn't know. But the Holy Ghost knows. He said no one knows. But the deep things, the things that are revealed, we know. But the things that are not yet revealed, it is the Holy Ghost that has the ability to know. So now, I've seen people say that what is the will of God for me in my life? What is the will of God for me in my um, making a choice in marriage? Now, if you want to know the will of God, the routine or what you need to do is to deal with the Holy Spirit because he is the person that knows the mind of God. He knows what God is thinking about you. He knows what God is planning about you. No man knows. And if a man is going to know, it has to be revealed to him or her by the Spirit. Now, in the book of um, 1 Samuel chapter 9, the story is told about Saul whose father's asses were lost, and he went looking for it for days. 
and he said to go and consult a priest or a prophet by name Samuel. When he got there, the prophet told him that before you came here, God showed me that you'll be coming. He said, okay. Then God showed me that you are going to be the first king of Israel. I said, no, I don't know that. He said, you see, uh, my family, we are the least in the family. My family, we are the nobodies. My families, we are the poor. I'm not educated. I don't have what it takes. Can you look for somebody else? Then the prophet said, if we have even killed a big cow and we have left the tithe for you because the Holy Spirit or God told me that you are going to be king. Now, I was telling those of who came on Wednesday service that Saul even ran away. Even though he allowed himself oil to be poured on him, the time they were elected and looking for the one to become king, he had run into the bush. But they voted for him. Why? Because the Holy Spirit of God reveals the things, the mindset of God. And when even they told Saul that he was going to be king, he said it is not possible. So there are things you don't even know about yourself. Your, your, the purpose for your life. What you can do to become a better person. There's nobody in this world that doesn't want to become a better person. Not even the arm robber. Not even the murderer. But if they have the Holy Spirit, who knows what is in the head of the Father? Hallelujah. Amen. He will reveal the deep things. Somebody say the deep things. Amen. Now, there, apart from the deep things also, there are things also from the Father that are free. They are free. Now, verse 12 of the same scripture will tell you that, that there are things that are freely given, and it's only the Spirit of God that can show you the things that are freely given. Let me give you an example. A man boarded a plane. Amen? Amen. And when he boarded the plane, they gave him business class. And he was with all these people. And they came. What would you want to drink? Beer? Wine? Coke? That is no. I, I didn't plan for all these things. I don't, I don't want anything because I budgeted. I don't want any trouble. Then the person next, drink, drink, ah, drink, drink. So what? They said, would you like white chicken? Rice and chicken. Oh, good. This plane, it will be very expensive to to pay for things. So even Papa here, I can't pay in Accra. How much more? This one. So they brought everything. This man rejected it. And they were about to end and there was no bill being brought. So he asked the man by you, are you not going to pay for what you took? I said, ah, it has been paid for. It is part of the ticket. <laughs> it is free. It is part of the, that is why you are in the business class. Everything there is free. Say, ah, so the sleeping, the way you stretch and you are sleeping and listening to music is free. Yeah, it's, it's part of the ticket. Say, ah, but unfortunately, it is time to get down. So you can't have the drink again. When they asked you, it was free. Because you don't know the things that are free, you are suffering. You are even, even begging to have what is free. You are begging. God. I beg you, make me alive tomorrow. Eh? You are begging. So the Holy Spirit is the one that will show you the things that are free. And if I want to list you the things that are free of God, Master, I'm robber, murderer, have it. Prostitute, have it. Let me tell you this. Prosperity is free. Breaking through is free. God pours rain. On the rich and the poor. So you can be very born again. And yet because you don't know that God wants you to be prospering, you'll be poor. You see, there's a problem with us as human beings. Sometimes people don't know the love that God has for us because it has not been revealed and we listen to things and we listen to people and we use them to rather check God. And I people think that, you see, because your heavenly father was wicked, you think God was, when I was growing, I thought God was saying in heaven, holding a cane, waiting for me to misbehave and discipline me. How many of you thought like that? Be sincere with me. 
And whenever it was raining, they said God was angry. So he, boom, 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 thunder. Boom, 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 God is angry. And when you see the rain, God is crying. I'm not lying to you. That, how many of you heard that story? So, so when the rain is heavy, God is today God's cry is serious. <laughs> when it's drizzling, <laughs> it's okay. We, we had all kinds of deceptive things being propagated onto us. Look at somebody and say, do you want the things that are free? Oh, I can't hear you. Yeah, there are a lot of things that are free. When you become born again, healing is free. Actually, we call it the children's bread. You don't actually have to pray to be healed. You are healthy. You don't have to fast and pray to be healed. Things are free. Right? We talk about free things. But not today. So the Bible said the things that are what freely given to us of God, it is the Spirit that revealeth it unto us. Oh, amen? amen. And I'll talk to you about one of the free things that God has given to us. One of the free things God has given to us is we becoming his sons. Can I have amen? In Galatians, no, um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, the Holy Spirit is the one that transforms us into the image of God. He makes us look like God. But we all, with open faces beholding the glass, the glory of the Lord, are changed in the same image from what? I can't hear, from what? From glory to what? Even as by the Spirit of the Lord. Say from glory to glory. glory. Okay, someone say from glory to glory. glory. Master, there are levels of glory. Oh, amen. Amen. Now, we are changed from what? Someone say glory to glory. Glory. I can't hear you. Have you seen that when two people marry, after after seven to ten years, they start looking alike? How many of you have realized that? Because their glory begins to appreciate. They change from glory to glory. And hear me. The more you stay with God, the more you allow the spirit of God to be with you, the more you change from one glory. Oh, I can't hear. From one glory. Yeah. Now, in, in the book of Galatians chapter 4, verse 6, the Bible said, it's the Holy Spirit that makes us cry out, Abba, Father. Now let's go there. Okay. And because you are what? God has what? Sent for the spirit of his son into your house. Crying what? He has sent for the spirit of his son into our house. So we can cry out what? So listen to me. It is the Holy Spirit that is in you. That makes you start looking for God. It is the Holy Spirit in us. If not that we have the Holy Spirit, we will not want to be like God. So... The first DNA of a believer is the Holy Ghost. Do you understand me? When you receive the Holy Spirit, wait, let me give you another example. As many as received him, he gave them power to become sons of God. So in other words, if you don't receive the Holy Spirit, you cannot begin to transform into who he is. So it's the Holy Spirit that makes us start looking like the Father. Why? Because when he is in us, he does, I told you the last two weeks, he does not speak of himself, but he speaks of what sort of the Father tells him to say. So as he's telling you and you are doing, you are becoming. Can I hear someone say an amen? amen? So Romans chapter 8 verse 16 says the spirit itself bears witness with our that we are what? 
Whenever you begin to feel that you are not of God, whenever you feel that you don't want to go to church, whenever you feel that you don't want to pray, now whenever you feel you don't want to fellowship with other believers, one of the things you realize is that you should begin to question the presence of the Holy Spirit in you. When David was sinning against God, Psalm 51, he said, cast me not away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me, but restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Because when the Holy Spirit is there, there is this joy of I am saved. There is this joy I want to be with God. Oh, hello? I can't hear you. Now, let's look at verse 15 of Romans chapter 8 back. Look at this. We have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear. Is that what is there? Oh, verse 15, please. 15. Read. Let's go. For ye have not what? The spirit of what? But we have received the spirit of what? The spirit of what? You see, what has Jesus done to us? God has what? Oh, I, don't, I can't hear you. He has done what to us? I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. Okay. It's not that he doesn't have children. Actually, we're his children. But we showed ourselves to the devil by Adam and Eve eating of the forbidden tree where we showed our rights. So if you sold it, you must buy it back. Oh, did you hear me? And for him to buy it back, it makes us look like we are adopted. But actually, we were made to have the actual DNA of God. But unfortunately, by the time God came to buy us, we look more like, more like the devil. Now, hear me. The primary ministry of the Holy Spirit is to make us feel accepted, loved, chosen by God. I asked a question before coming here at my office. I'm not sure you have tried to adopt before. Okay, I'm not sure you have watched adoption movie before. Okay, let's let's do a discussion. When you want a child to adopt, does the child choose the parent, or the parent chooses the child? So that's why God chose you. You did not choose God. The child cannot be there. I want this one to be my father. I want this one to be It doesn't work. Even though you might say, I want this one to be my father. I want this one to be my mother. The parent will look at the child, look for the record, where from this family, where from this, and say, okay, looking at all this, I want to choose this one. Hello? Oh, Hello? I didn't hear you. Hello? <laughs> so look at some say, God chose you. He said it in John 15. You did not choose me. I chose you. Some say, but I was the one who said, ah, after the Lord Jesus Christ. You, who said you are the one? Do you know what, who made you come forward? He think it was you? No. He leads you. He speaks to you. He tells you that, look, you are mine. Go forward and accept it. Accept me as your Lord. He, he speaks to you. He speaks to your spirit. Then you come forward. Because sometimes a, a parent can decide, um, a, a, a man or a woman can decide to adopt a child, and a child will say that I don't want. Oh, two of us. And so they'll have to buy toffee, chewing gum, a bodo, a lewa, and give it to this child. And then the child starts eating and say, Can we go home? Eh? Where? This house, you mean you give me this place to stay? Okay, I accept. So the child looks at certain conditions and says, Oh, I accept. Oh, I'm not sure I've watched this movie before. Oliver Twist. I'm not sure if I read the book. Oh, oh, yeah. That guy was a stubborn adopted son, child. He couldn't conform to the image of his family. He couldn't just. Hello? I can't hear you. Look at some say, did you call yourself or God called you? 
But the problem is that, listen, please hear me very well. The true nature of a child, give me John chapter 5, verse 19. Let's read it together. Go. I can do. Then, okay, let's read. Then answered Jesus and said unto them, Very, very what? Say unto you, The son can do, but whatsoever he sees the father do, whatsoever he sees the father do. Oh, read it. Okay, let me summarize it for you. For whatsoever the son sees the father do, so does. Wait. Who will reveal this father to you so that you can do what he's doing? How can you be like a father you've not seen? How can you be like a father you've not known? How can you be like a father you have not lived with? I was talking to some people and were telling me that Pastor Victor behaves in this way. Pastor David behaves in this way, and I was laughing. You know, let me give you one thing they say they do. As soon as they get to the house, they go straight to their room, and they stay there. And I said, yes. When they stayed with me, that is how I lived. I don't sit in my living room. I don't, I, whenever I go to my house, straight to my room, I'm inside till I'm going out. That is me. You see, people learn from what they see being done. And you can never also do anything like God if you don't meet God. So we have had Christians who are born again and they are struggling to serve God. Oh, I'm not being understand me here. Yeah, bread. I mean, you want to, not that you don't want to, you really want to. But how you, how, how in Apodua? Soon, soon, peno, honam, I really want to. Who here doesn't want to really serve God? Let me see your hand. You don't really want to. You, like you be here. Almost everybody here or everybody here really wants to serve God. But why is it that you can't? Because you don't know the Father. I'm sure when this... This all time will permit us, but I trust you've enjoyed the service much as we have. Note this, at Bridge Ministries, your life is always switched on. I want you to be a part of what God is doing at Bridge Ministries, and I believe our announcers are giving you much of the information on your screen. Know this, when you are part of what God is doing, definitely, as we say in Bridge Ministries, your life will totally be switched on. We believe that God wants you to be restored. God wants your life to be built and God wants to repair any damage in your life. I want you to know that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.